one seat down there, it'll kind of like balance out. We never ever go above 10,000 feet. All right. Above 10,000 feet, you encounter some, some more interesting things. Uh, all big airplanes are equipped with anti-ice equipment, um, as is our airplane. But the amount of water in this storm environment, uh, it, would, it would eventually overcome our anti-ice equipment. So we don't go above 10,000 feet because you figure the freezing level in a summer storm like that is right about 14,000 feet. So everything above 14,000 is frozen. Uh, staying below 10,000 does not mean we're going to uh, avoid hail. You know, hail comes all the way to the ground, so we're going to occasionally uh, fly through hail. Um, you, you may see as you walk out to the flight line, some of the airplanes are kind of shiny on the front of them, uh, unintentionally. Sure. Um, so, so we'll never go above 10. The other thing we found out, I mentioned uh, lightning <coughs> here earlier, the other thing we found out from years of doing this you are more likely to get hit by lightning if you are within 2,000 feet of the freezing level. So if the freezing level is about 14,000 feet, then we know if we avoid 12 to 16,000 feet, we're going to avoid a lot of the lightning. Um, we do get hit. A lot, a lot of people ask. Um, it, it, you know, it just depends. Uh, airplane, all airplanes are designed to dissipate <coughs> electricity. You, you'll see little what appear to be antennas sticking off the back of an airplane. Those are static wicks. They're designed to dissipate electricity. They cannot dissipate it at the rate that you gain it when you get hit by lightning. So uh, every lightning strike will leave an entry wound and an exit wound uh, on the airplane. You hope for nothing more than you know maybe a little charred paint. Um, uh, it's a very electronic airplane. It is you know, possible that it will at least temporarily affect some of the electronic equipment, but I always make this clear whenever I talk to people. If there is something important on an airplane, we don't just have one, all right? Uh, the example I like to use is electricity. Um, the airplane will fly just fine without any electricity. It's not comfortable, you don't want to do it, and you're going to be heading to land, but it will fly without electricity, all right? With a single electrical generator, I can power my entire airplane all day long, all right? I have five electric generators on board my airplane. 